Hey guys, what's up? I am back with the brand new video. It's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And the Note 20 Ultra I have is the Snapdragon variant. We have a Snapdragon 865 Plus SoC with a 12 GB of RAM. While the S22 Ultra has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 SoC with a 12 GB of RAM as well. On the back, we have a triple cameras on the Note 20 Ultra versus the quad cameras on the S22 Ultra and both phones has a main 108 megapixel main camera with optical image stabilization. Both phones also has a 12 megapixel ultra wide. We also have a 12 megapixel which is a periscopic lens which give you a 5x optical zoom with OIS while the Samsung has a 10 megapixel which is a telephoto lens which gave you a 3x optical zoom with OIS. We also have another 10 megapixel a periscope lens which gave you a 10x optical zoom with OIS. And the back on both phones is made up of glass. We have Korean Gorilla Glass Victus versus a Victus Plus. And the frame of the Note 20 Ultra is made up of stainless steel. While the Samsung has an aluminium frame on the bottom. No headphone jack on both these devices. Both phones also has a S Pen and you can see. And both phones also has a dual speaker. So I am really really excited to see that how much a difference between a Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 versus a Snapdragon 865 Plus. So without any wasting time. Let's get right into it. Now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time. Here we go. Logos came up first on the Note 20 Ultra 5G. And both phones is running on Android 12. We have Samsung One UI version 4.1. Latest software on both phones. Let's see who is faster when it comes to booting up. Snapdragon 865 plus and you can see we have half a second difference between these devices when it comes to putting up S22 Ultra is a tiny bit more faster I would say it is a draw on both phones now let's talk about the display on the S22 Ultra we have 6.8 inch quad HD plus dynamic AMOLED with LTPO 120Hz refresh rate while on the Note 20 Ultra we have 6.9 inch quad HD plus dynamic AMOLED with 120Hz refresh rate as well. Also, we have 1750 nits of peak brightness on the S22 Ultra versus a 1300, I think, on the Note 20 Ultra. Both phones also has S Pen, and you can see. Let me show the S Pens. Matte black S Pen with the S22 Ultra versus a bronze with the Note 20 Ultra, and you can see. And the S Pen looks very similar on both phones which we don't see from any other brand also with the note 20 ultra we have 9 millisecond latency with s pen versus a 2.8 millisecond everything is closed up in the background no application is running in the background also we have same wi-fi network phone dialer very similar so now let's see settings also very similar now let's go to the display and you can see both phones has a adaptive refresh rate 120 to 60 versus a 1 hertz all the way up to 120 hertz so we have ltpo refresh rate now I'll check out some more application opening up amazon shopping with same wi-fi network and the s22 ultra is a tiny bit more faster let's see the scrolling in that area both phones is performing really really smooth and s22 ultra is a tiny bit more faster again Scrolling wise, both phones is performing very, very smooth. So now let's check out some games application. Now let's see Candy Crush Saga 8 Gen 1 versus 865 Plus. Tiny bit more faster on the S22 Ultra. Let me show the speakers on both phones. First on the Note 20 Ultra 5G. And here is the S22 Ultra. As you can see in the speakers, it is much louder on the S22 Ultra. So we have improvement, but I would say in the speaker wise, let's see pin out. Pin out is a more faster on the S22 Ultra. Now let's see Snapchat, very similar. So now let's see Spotify. Spotify is faster on the Note 20 Ultra. Now let's opening up the Subway Surfer and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 is showing its performance mostly in the games but you can see we have one second difference which is not really big difference at all. 
Now let's say temper and tool. We have a downloading thing issue on the S22 Ultra, but the performance is very close between these two devices. No 20 Ultra is done. Samsung is taking more time because of the downloading thing. So now let's opening up the PUBG Mobile heavy game. Let's see in that game how much a difference. We have a two year old phone. So both phones looks very similar. And S22 Ultra is a tiny bit more faster as you can see. So both phones is give you a smooth graphics with extreme frame rate, no 90 FPS on the S22 Ultra. So now let's opening up the tutor that is faster on the Note 20 Ultra. Now let's open Zedge that is faster on the S22 Ultra. Now let's see the scrolling and in that area no difference at all. 120 Hz is working very very smooth. So last time I'm launching the cameras on both phones default camera application. Let's see who is faster and the S22 Ultra is a tiny bit more faster and the camera performance overall it is more better on the S22 Ultra because we have a 10x optical zoom but I would say that I take this one shot in that shot and the Note 20 Ultra is more sharper as well as less contrasty which I like a lot on the Note 20 Ultra. So now let's look at the front facing camera. So here is the front facing camera and the Note 20 Ultra has a 10 megapixel selfie camera while the S22 Ultra has a 40 megapixel selfie camera and the front camera it is looks more sharper on the S22 Ultra. Now let's see internet bound speed I am seeing default Samsung internet browser on both phones. Also we have same Wi-Fi network. Now let's open wikipedia.org faster on the Note 20 Ultra. So now let's see the scrolling really really smooth same thing with zooming out so now let's open this english this time very similar scrolling wise both phones is feels very very smooth next on the list is the galaxy shop that is a little more faster on the s22 ultra let's see the scrolling and really really smooth so now check out ram management we have 12 GB of RAM on both phones. Let's see who is performed good in the RAM management. Samsung One UI version 4.1. Phone dialer. Settings. Amazon shopping. Let's see Candy Crush Saga. Instagram. Let's see Pinout. Snapchat. Spotify. Subwoofer. Let's see Temper and 2. Let's see PUBG Mobile. Opening up the tutorial. Zedge. Last way back to the internet browser where we left and you can see. And cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see and the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra is performing more faster I would say in the game app loading time but as far as the system based application and social media application are concerned that is feels a little more faster sometimes on the Note 20 Ultra that's really surprising. In terms of the ramage wise in that area both phones is performing really really good in the ram management not a single refresh on both phones also we have 4500 mh battery size with 25 watt fast charging support while with the s22 ultra we have 5000 mh battery size with the 45 watt fast charging support but with the s22 ultra we does not get any charger in the box so over up to say you can see the performance between the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 versus the Snapdragon 865 Plus, it is not really big. We only have a one or two second difference. So that's about it. And thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra versus the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra 5G. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Peace out.